Hi, I'm Brian Curtis, and this is Courtside Pulse. Today, I'm speaking with Marilyn Garcia from USA Today. She's in Detroit this weekend for the regional finals. Marilyn, thanks a lot for coming on. Let's break down the final game in the Midwest region between Davidson and Kansas. On Saturday, you had the chance to talk to some of the coaches and players. Is Davidson kind of the deer in the headlights look, or do they really believe that, that they're going to beat Kansas? Oh, they're big believers, and I, I think you know, they, they look at having played teams like Duke, North Carolina, UCLA, having played them tough, having beaten Georgetown, having beaten Wisconsin. Uh, these kids aren't buying the Cinderella bit at all. They think they're right there. I'm curious, what did Bill Self from Kansas or some of his players say about Stephen Curry? Obviously, they must be aware of the tear that he's been on through the first three games of the tournament. You know, they're, they're very aware, you know, Bill Self breaks down players so well, you know, and he mentioned how Curry can just, uh, how he can change speeds and he can, you know, just deceive you. He can, you know, change the speed so quickly, slow it down, and then you slow down, and then he's right, he, you know, he can go right past you. Um, I was a little bit surprised that uh, one of his players, Russell Robinson, one of the Kansas players, uh, said something to the effect of, you know, uh, as far as Curry goes, coach gives him the green light to knock down shots. His teammates are behind him. Once you get those two things down, Pat, anybody can knock it down. I don't think it's actually that simple. I think Curry, you know, he's just so sound, and uh, I don't think it's just those elements that, that, that make him so good. Right, and you've got to imagine that Kansas is going to at least double-team Stephen Curry probably every time he touched the ball. We saw Georgetown try to do it. We saw Wisconsin try to do it. But this guy's just, uh, I guess, having a special tournament. But what about the other players on Davidson? Where could scoring come from, or who should we keep an eye on on Sunday in the game to beat Kansas if Davidson can do it outside of Curry? Well, see, that's, that's where it gets a little tough. I mean, Kansas has so many athletes, and they're just, they have so many kids that, that they can take Curry in waves, and, and they've got uh, the big men, you know, who can uh, definitely outdo the, the Davidson bigs. But uh, Jason Richards, the point guard, has to be uh, on, as he was against Wisconsin. No turnovers, uh, about a dozen or so assists. Uh, the bigs can't get into foul trouble. Guys like Andrew Lovedale, Thomas Sander, they need to be, um, they need to hold their own. And if those guys get into foul trouble, they're, you know they're they're going to have problems. And 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 just trying to keep Kansas in check will be hard for Davidson. I could see them matching up against Wisconsin. You know they were they matched up really well with Wisconsin. They were a grinded out team. Kansas has speed has some, you know, athleticism, and, and they've, got the, they've got so many players that can go at these guys from Davidson. What about the atmosphere at Detroit? We heard a lot about the raised court in the middle, and we saw Bill Self sitting on a stool and a, a little uh, footrest as well at times during the game. W was it a weird experience for coaches and players and for you and the media and fans? You know, it was a little weird to see Bill Self sitting on a stool on the raised court. It was, it was odd, but I think one of the players said you do kind of feel like you're floating out there. But, uh, no, I, I think everybody's, everybody's doing fine with it, and, and obviously, uh, you know, Kansas and Davidson aren't, aren't complaining. Um, I don't know how the, the fans up in that top tier of seats feel about it, but uh, so far, no complaints, and, and, and it's going smoothly for them. Well, keep an eye on your laptop. Marilyn Garcia from USA Today, thanks so much for coming on. That wraps up this edition of Courtside Pulse. To learn more about CBS College Sports Network, log on to cbssports.com slash get college sports.